Hi, Randy with Canadian Energy. So our topic today is battery monitors and control panels. So we have a battery monitor here. So essentially what it does is it measures the amount of amperage in and out. Now this device actually is connected to a shunt, but so the shunt measures the amount of amperage uh, going out of the battery pack and coming back into the battery pack from different charge sources. The battery monitor is a device that controls the depth of discharge with a battery pack. So if you want the battery pack discharge to 80% depth of discharge or 50% depth of discharge or whatever the number is, you can, you can configure that in the battery monitor. So again, um, you set up what size the battery pack is and it knows how many amps are going out and how much are coming back in so it can control exactly what the depth of discharge is in the battery. So with the battery monitor, you're gonna maximize your battery life. We know that controlling depth of discharge is one of the best ways to maximize battery life. So this would be the a device that's gonna control that better than other devices that are controlled solely on voltage. And the system control panel in the system is essentially used to uh, configure the system, make changes, and view any, any setting changes or any faults or warnings in the inverter and system. Again, they all communicate on these particular devices on a ZAN bus network. Um, the components all talk together or all talk to one another connected via Cat5 cable. So that's it on battery monitors and control panels. Uh, any other questions, visit our website, cdnrg.com. Until next time.